Since life began on Earth, biological identities have been fighting for survival and natural selection has been running on many levels. From genetic to ecological, organisms have been trying to adapt to different environmental pressures for eons by diverse mechanisms, ranging from changing cellular sensing to complex behavioral adjustments. But what exactly is behavior? People tend to use this term often without comprehending the meaning of it. Behavior can be defined as an action or a reaction by an organism resulted from its cognition. And here you ask once again, but what exactly is cognition? Let us give you an easy analogy that might help you get what it is. Computers are famous for solving problems by processing some inputs and then giving an output. In our biological context, the processing of an organism is basically its cognition. While the inputs are some environmental events occurring around it, gathered by its senses, and finally the output is its behavior. Cognition of course is resulted from complex reactions in the nervous system. Nervous systems might have first appeared in worms approximately 550 million years ago. But complex cognition appeared 150 million years later when vertebrates were emerging. Our subject today, behavioral ecology, is the field considered with the study of many of the amazing aspects of the topics we just coined. Its study is mainly concentrated on the behavior of higher animals under ecological pressures and how these behaviors affect their fitness. Some describe behavioral ecology as the field that studies the ethological aspect of ecology, which means the interactive behavior part of it. At this point, it will be very useful to list you some examples, but before that, we need to remind you that natural selection, the core reason for all behavior studied in this field, is a very harsh, complicated process that may in some cases sacrifice small components of a biological system in order to benefit the whole system. Translated in the form of sacrificing small cells in order to benefit the whole multicellular organism, this event takes place in us all the time, as some cells commit suicide by the process of apoptosis to save us. In more extreme cases, this can be translated in the form of sacrificing an individual organism to benefit its colony or species. So, as you may have guessed by now, some behaviors may be fatal for an organism, but it's still a good behavior, as it makes the colony or species more fit. And that brings us to the first example of processes that lead to exotic behaviors in the wild. Kin selection is an exotic phenomenon that compels animals to behave altruistically for the greater good of the group. The most known example of this is the bees drones dying after fertilizing their queens for the greater good of their colony. This type of selection is just super weird and confusing for evolutionary biologists such as Darwin. In fact, this force is arguably the most powerful force of them all, which is sexual selection. Sexual selection is caused by the competition of males for females. This behavioral competition is based on the female preference in mates. In many species, there is a continuous sexual conflict between males that limits them to two fates. Either win the conflict and pass on their genes or lose it, which may kill them in the process. This of course puts some ecological pressure on the males and hence makes them adapt and evolve. There is tons of other ecological forces that controls animal behavior. But sadly, we won't be able to fit most of them in one video. We hope that this wasn't a boring trip for you. We try to squeeze as much useful info as we can in this one. The field of behavior ecology is vast, and unfortunately, not much is known between many biologists. So as always, there will be further readings below our sources in the description below, for the ones that want to dive deeper in the field. Thank you for watching, we hope that you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family if you learned something new.